Good morning, guys. Well, I did a live sale last night, but it crashed and burned because the internet was so bad. So I just ended it because I was frozen. It was blurry, yada, yada, yada. And uh, yeah, it just wasn't good. So I'm going to do, you know, a buy it now. You're going to purchase via the email. So I just need the item number and the price. Okay, and then um, I will email you back. Either it's yours and a confirmation of the prize, or sorry, it's sold. I will maintain a sold list. Um, I feel like I'm getting hubby's cold, so I'm kind of draggy this morning. This is not pre-prepared. Um, I'm familiar with most of these pieces. It should be fairly easy, you know, to discuss what they are. Uh, like the brooches and stuff, I didn't measure, but I can do that. So if you're prone to impatience or you're triggered by someone who may not be um, Johnny on the spot, you might not want to watch this. So I'm giving you that option. <laughs> oh, do I get coffee or something on this? These are so old, it's no surprise. Okay, so I'm going to start with this because this is my blue box that I'm staging items on. And that's not shadow. This is a shipping label that's half used. I use these to put, put stickers on the bag. I've got more bags ordered. Can you believe I'm out of bags? Okay, so we're going to start with this set. Um, this set was originally on HSN. And this is called, they called it the Nile Princess. This is Ben Amun, B E N dash A M U N. And his hanger make sure it's right side up for you his hanger is here i have too much light let's calm that down so the venomons here it's also signed on the back at the top here um this is just too heavy for me i bought this is brand new it's still in the box it's gorgeous now this all of this is uh lucite and just an acrylic gold plated elements of course and it does come with the three inch matching earrings. Now, Benamoon is a considered, a, you know, a high end designer. Very collectible, very desirable pieces. Um, what's interesting is this blue lucite actually does glow. These are not amber, they are lucite. They look like amber, but they're not. Everything's finished very nicely in his pieces, from the bead caps to multiple. How the spacers, these are actually one piece, looks like multiple. There's just a lot of little details about this piece. Um, this was obviously an Egyptian revival piece. I'm not sure the year. I know it was on HSN. Now, this one measures, um, as it's set, it's its very shortest right now here. And so this one, it has an eight inch drop from the top of your clasp to the top of the pendant. And then you have a three inch extender. Now the pendant part itself is huge. And if you notice, it's built a little bit curved. So this lies nicely on your chest. It's beautiful. It's almost like we're in a chest plate, which was the idea. Please focus. Please do. Thank you. Which is kind of the idea with Egyptian Revival, that big, bold, you know, beautiful look. Um, this particular piece is four and a half inches wide this way, and it's three inches long. The earrings, I think I said, but they're three inches long and one inch at its widest mark. These are perfect. Perfect. I bought them in the box, put it on, realized uh-oh, I can't wear these. So, here they are. Here they are. This is the blue box I've been using. So, it does come in the box with all the nice padding, just like you see it. I wanted to show you that um, he did use Lucite. I have so much morning light, but I think these should glow anyway. So, yeah, the blue ones. They do glow. <laughs> it's even picking them up over it. So, these are Lucite. See, these don't, they're beautiful, but they don't. But the blue ones are lucite. This piece is currently still, I mean, what was retail on their event price? I think it was something like 
right around the 170, 180 mark. There's a lot listed. I didn't bother to see sold. It really doesn't matter. I'm just looking to get back what I paid for it. So we're going to do a, a, you know, buy it now price for this set. I'm going to go just $60 flat. Um, I didn't mention my prices do not include your shipping. Something like this. You're going to be close. I mean, it's, it's the box, but you want the box. So if it's up to a pound and it's in the U.S., not meaning from Florida to the West Coast, it's going to be $5 or under. If you go over a pound, um, then I will look at your best options for your location and your shipping and give you um, the most value. You always have the option of emailing me and asking for a priority ship on things if you want. That's perfectly fine. And these items are used. This particular item actually is not used. It's still old, new, new old stock, and that way I call it. So, um, but all the other items I'll be showing today are in excellent used condition. If there's anything that is the least bit different or funky or needs noted about the piece, I will note it to you. But these are all as-is sales. Of course, if you find something that I missed, of course, I'm going to refund you guys. You know me. I'm not like that. But, um, yeah, my stuff's in good, is great shape. Today, I'm just going to stick with the signed pieces. Um, I've got tons more beautiful vintage and older items to bring. Um, I'll probably be doing some jewelry lots. But, yeah, I'll get there. <laughs> Okay, so the Ben Moon. So yeah, this one just going to do sixty five. It's a great price. It's I would wear this. I would wear this. It's it it's never going to go out of style. It's just not. It's just beautiful work. Absolutely stunning work. All right, so this is going to be number one. Just put Ben Moon set or the Nile Princess set. And so there's my stage is made. Make it my little leopard printed self out of the picture here. I want to pause to get my water. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty stuffy this morning. Okay, all better. Well, while we're on loose sight type pieces, let's go ahead and knock this out. This is an amazing piece. This is absolutely a collector's item. These, you know, the, the price ranges on these. So, what you want to do if you're considering buying one of these, you need to see it glow. Okay, true lucite, technically, technically, if you're talking about collector speak, true lucite's only clear. Sure, it's the same, probably chemical substance, like with those blue beads, obviously, when they color it. But when you're talking vintage collector stuff. True lucite is only clear. True, like jelly bellies, they're in all colors. So the true early jelly bellies were clear as well. Just a little FYI. I'm trying to put fingerprints on this because it's such an amazing piece. This is mid century fantasticness. Okay, this is true lucite. Uh, with the black and beautiful fluorescent yellow beetles in here. You also have your suspended, like pearlized. I have no way to know if that's a plastic or what, but it's very pearlized. You do have your inner band, and it does have its original maker's mark, which is Colos Design, K-O-L-O-S Design. So you've got your three beetles and your three pearlized. It's absolutely fantastic piece. I I knew I wasn't going to wear this. This was to like sit, display like an art piece. To me, it's just, but you can wear it. It'd be great for like a gallery opening or just anywhere that you just really want to make a statement of your cool taste. Isn't that fantastic? And yes, True Lucite glows green. Don't even need to turn lights out for this stuff. It glows extremely green. Even in the bright light. Let me see if I can point at it. I'm trying to look at 
at the screen in the piece. I'm going to get way up here, so maybe it'll show the whole thing. Here, I'll hold it up. Maybe that'll help. Maybe that'll help. It truly is like really fluoresces. I mean, let me get away from that band so the band's not influencing it. Uh, but it does. It glows. A true lucite glows green. Big time. Fluoresces. Yeah, it's too bright in here this morning, but you can see the glow. And these guys are just too cool. <laughs> I'm wiping them out with the light. Sorry about that. Let me back way up with the light. But it does. It glows green. Okay, so this one is huge. I know that. But that's how they were styled. This is pretty normal. So your actual opening is three. In well, let's go inside the lip and be precise, shall we? Inside the lip, it's just, it's like an eighth under three inches. All the way across, we're looking at an eighth below four and a half inches so it's a big one this is definitely a collector's piece um on this one i'm asking 80 this thing's worth hundreds i had it listed i took it down um and i now decide to sell it again because i've got things just sitting or hanging that i just dig that i just you know, I just like them. <laughs> I like to look at them. So this is item number two. Oh, for now, I'll put it in a bag. Until they go back home or, or I put them back online. I don't know. I don't know. So this is empty now. This was all my four by three bags. Now it's an empty bag. So on this one. I'm not writing on this box, and I'm not putting sticky on it. But this was number one, the Venom Moon set. And um, it's 65, right? Yes. And this one, I'm doing really super low. I need a marker. I thought I had one. Okay. So this is number two. And I'm going to do this one. Didn't I say 80, which is mental? It's completely stupid price, but that's okay. I need it lighten a little on here. So number two is 80. Oh, I'm backwards. Uh, you get the gist, I would hope. Okay, what else is this say? I may have some more later, but for right now. I was surprised that this was actually a site, but it shouldn't have been because it's RJ Graziano. Which is, a, um, again, this is another, like, either HSN or QVC type dude. Wait a minute. This class doesn't seem to spring back the way it's supposed to. Hang on. Oh, there it goes. Mental malfunction this morning. It's me. It's just me. So, let me let you see the piece. Yeah, see, it's not, um, see how it's not closing? And you can't look at it every time and fidget with it to make sure it closes. So this is not sterling, so it won't be a big deal to replace it. See, it just popped back in. But we don't want to play that game. Oh, well, I'll show it to you. I'll put a place to fix that. It's an RJ Graziano. And here's his mark is here. And it's on the back. I think he uses RJC, right? Like you can answer, right? RJC, right? <laughs> Oof, guys, feeling rough this one. Oh, it's R. I'm backwards. Oh. It's RJ, RJ Graziano. So this is the silicone chain. But it's very well made. I mean, it's not soldered, obviously. It's not going to be. So, this is measure. So, this is here. That's your first clue. 
of the lightness of this piece. But this makes it... I can wear it for a little while. Let me get you a measurement. I'm going to go ahead and because of the clamps having to be bopped around, which... See, it doesn't do it every time. Oh, it's when you pull it all the way back. Oh, you have to push it up. Oh, now it, see, it closes now. Now it's working. But now it's fine. What the hell? Now it's working. Six, seven, eight, nine. Two out of ten times it's fine. But it's just because it's sitting so long. I don't feel like messing with trying to do this. I'm standing, standing up, so I'm just going to do this RJ Graziano. Um, I'll do this piece. I don't know, five bucks. How's that sound? That's a good price for this piece. So let's just get a drop on this to begin with. So I gave you the price. You can see it. So can't complain too much about me taking too long. And again, I gave you fair warning. So bugger off. <laughs> Okay, so this is 10 inch drop. No, sorry, it is a six inch drop. So it's 12, that's too short. So let's go to 14, get real. Let's get real. How about I stick this for a Let's just do that. Because, yeah, we're not going to take forever on this. So, yeah, it closed for a minute. Just a hiccup. Just a hiccup. But I'm just letting you know what happened. All right. At its longest, we're looking at 10 and a half inches. So it's a 21 inch drop length all the way. And you can bring it as short as you want. Obviously, this is number three. This is the RJ Graziano. Uh, yeah, it's looks like it's not as bright of a blue as a blue. Yeah, it is looks like. Nice green glow. I mean, I was surprised. I shouldn't have been because Graziano is actually very good jewelry. It used to be extremely popular. Um, I'm trying to remember when that was. I'm trying to find a long enough bag. Um, mm, I get this like an eighties, nineties, something like that. But you know, loose lights always been fashionable. So this is number three, the RJ Graziano, and I'm just doing $5 on that. I need to flip this around, so bear with me just a moment. I'm not pausing and reaching over because, yeah, I'll just have to deal with raising my direction. So number three is $5, RJ Graziano, loose light necklace. Any more loose light? No, we're not doing this. It's not signed, but I do love this piece. I fell in love with it again last night. I put it on. I'm like, I was wearing a purple shirt. It looks so good. It was popping. I don't know the age of this piece. Looking at the color of this brass and this bohemian style. It could be anything. Now, I'm pairing this. This is a Chico's. multi -stand. Just fabulous -ness beads. These earrings have nothing to do with Chico's, but I... I've always thought it was a great set, so I'm going to let you have the earrings with it. It's kind of like a modern fruit salad earrings, honestly, but they're, they're older, obviously. These are old pieces. This is some kind of plastic. That's some acrylic. Let's see if anything glows in these old boys. No. I wouldn't consider that a true glow. No. Okay. So these are going to go with. So this is the Chico's. This is all brass. And here's your Chico's hanger. Is here. This is an old one. I like the design on this. Very, 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 very bohemian. And the messier you wear this hanging, the cooler it is. You don't want to make it all nice. And, and you can, if that's your bag, to make it all lined up. Not me. I think that the messier this looks, the better. And I wonder if you can, anyway, on the Chico's, because these are, I'm going to give you a price is why I'm stopping because people.
people get impatient that we can forward ahead. I don't remember that these were marked, but you've got your brass backs. I don't see anything on there. They're in great shape, though, and they're clip-ons. These are an inch. Okay, let me see if this will torsade. If, and make sure it stays, because you can torsade a lot of stuff, but will it stay once you clasp it? That's the key. And you've got to hang on to both ends once you've twisted. Don't let go. I'm going to go the shortest I can. Yeah. You can torsade this. Not the tightest torsade you ever had to see. But it does have that look. So let's just go ahead and get the twist out of this. So that's all torsade means. T-O-R-S-A-D-E. -E. Just means it's twisted. That's all it means. Let's go ahead and get a drop on this. Oh, on the Chico's. I'm going to consider this as a marriage because this is not Chico's. It's on side, but come on, face it. That's a fabulous matching. That's how I wore it. So I'm going to offer it to you how I styled it for this set of the Chico's. This is really cool because it's got glass. You know, it's got probably dyed stone, I'm going to guess. You never know with Chico's. Sometimes they use real stuff. So this glass is acrylic or stone. You know how cheap this is. I mean, that looks like stones. It's got a nice patina on here. You know, it's just, it's just, there's no wear. It's not worn out. It's been well taken care of. I like this one. It doesn't, you wouldn't think it's so heavy, but... It gets to me. So on this set for the Chico's, yeah, I'm him in the hall on this. I don't know because I really like it. That makes it, it makes me not make the clearest like um, <laughs> unbiased judgment on price because I like it so much. Um, on the Chico's, how about I do eight dollars on the set on the two, and I'll eventually get you a measurement. I warned you. I warned you, I was not, like, hitting on all eights this morning. Okay, so we're at a 14-inch drop. No, seven and a half inch. Hang on, I'm so sorry. Actually, let me open this like it's going to lay, because that's how it's going to lay. Which, you don't have to put it here. Yeah, that's too short, because that's, like, five and a half, so it's 11 inch. But, so let's just say... With 11, let's give you a total length and you can play from there. So 11 plus three and a half, so it's gonna be 14 and a half inches. That's gotta be wrong because that would be like choking you out. Let me just I hold this up and get a decent measurement. Sorry, guys, I just don't want to give you measurements that are wrong. I know it's not that short, I wore it, I <laughs> would have choked out. <laughs> okay, what do we got? Where my measuring tape spinning? Oh, yeah, I'm having to increase my tape measure. So, yeah, it was way off. How about we go with it? It is 22 inches total length. Yeah, that sounds more like it. 22 inches total length. And you can bring this pretty much as short as It's a fabulous set. That is a great buy. This thing is eternally stylish. This thing's never going to be not boho, not cool. No, it's forever cool. I'm going to double check my bag numbers. So this is number four. And the Chico set, number four. And I think I said seven bags, which is mental. So it's okay. I know, I've got an old number on here. That's okay. We're going to just leave it like this. Number four. Okay, seven dollars. Number four, seven dollars for the for the Chico's necklace and then the earrings that are unmarked that I just married them because they look cool together. This is I showed this stuff my whole twenty nine minutes I was on basically discussing how bad my internet was. And that was such fun. These are Crown Trafari. These are leverback clip ons. I guess that's what you call these. With this particular style.
they're hollow, so they're not heavy, and they are crown safari. I believe these look like there's probably a tad over an inch. Let's see. And on the crown safari, I was doing three dollars because I'm nice. One and a quarter inches around. Crown safari, three dollars. Crown Safari sells like crazy. I just don't have time to list all this smaller stuff. I'll end up throwing a big giant lot. High end estate signed jewelry. <laughs> Were you fitting here? Oh no, I want you in a smooth bag. I don't want these scratched because they've survived all these years. Look at that finish. And with vintage jewelry. The most important thing is condition, condition, condition. They could use a clean. See, you can see on top of them, probably hairspray. Who was it was saying, who uses hairspray anymore? I thought, probably billions of people. I'm like, who uses hairspray anymore? Probably billions of people. That's my first response. This is a sleep premise. And it's original box. And it's adorable little rhinestone pen and I have, don't really want to take it off of here so I'm not I'll look and see if he tells us the carrot typically with crimmins if it just says crimmins and it doesn't have a gold fill amount on there for you I and they're 12 carat that's the norm for crimmins this is really nice and new condition let me get some eyeballs let me get some light and see if this one tells us. But yeah, if it just says crimmets, they're all gold filled. It's just a matter of um, the carrot. But a lot of their stuff they don't say. I'm upside down, but we are. We will have our gold fill mark on her somewhere because it's. I see the writing. Okay, this one is crimmets. Oh wait, did I lie? It says crimmets, and then there's something behind it. Could just be a trademark. It's not long enough to be the gold filled information. These are pretty little stones. You know, I didn't turn my gym tester on because I seriously doubt crimmets is going to be diamonds. But then again, eh, it looks like a very nice one, doesn't it? So, but for now, we'll just call them. Let me take a look because I can usually tell if it's going to be gemstones or not. No, I don't think so. So I'm just going to say glass. Uh, so just a very delicate, really pretty. You got your gold leaf, right? And blind here. It's just a really pretty, dainty. Imagine that on your collar. I would say to use a solid color, like a blue or green or red, this would really pop on your collar. Let me stick this back in its original little boop-ba-doop-boop-boo. -boo. Okay, let me just lay that down and get a measurement. It looks like it's an inch or a little bit over. Yeah, it's just shy of an inch and a quarter. And on the Kremitz Vintage, pen and its original box this is an excellent condition the box wants to slightly open which if you're clever is there a way you can fix that i don't know i don't know maybe someone over opened it feels like a faux leather anyway i'll quit babbling this is number um Five. Wait a minute. One, two. Three. Yes, this is number five. Nope. Yep. I'm so confused. So one, two, three. One. Did I miss number two completely? No, there's one, two, three. 
The Trafari, I didn't give you a number, did I? The Trafari earrings are number four, and they were $3. I don't think I showed you anything. I just stuck them in the fuzzy bag. So, backtracking a little bit, and that's why I got confused with the numbers, is the Trafari um, earrings. So, clip back, whatever, pierced. Those are three. And the Chico's is four. So, I'm okay. This is number five. And on this one, um, on this one, I'll just do 20. I think that's a good price for it. Do you think I remember what I paid? Nope, I do not. So, on the Kremix, uh, excuse me, is number five, and my bag just tore. We're going to use it anyway. It'll be kind of hard to miss what this is. <laughs> okay, so this is number five. And I'm going to do 20. So the comments is number five for $20. Okay. You know I wore this as sterling for the longest time. It's got such good color. I like wearing it with the toggle down in the front. But it's got a pretty little heart-shaped clasp as well it looks sterling it looks like that matte kind of look sterling i wore this forever i'll probably go back to wearing it if it doesn't sell quite honestly if my neck can tolerate it let me see who this is it says oh it's a sarah coventry get out i don't even collect her at all how did i end probably ended up with this because of how it looks yeah it says sc must be silver plate because it sure feels like it. Oh, it's Avon. Did Sarah Coventry do Avon? Because it says SC on one side and Avon on the other. Yeah, Avon did do silver plate and silver. I'm not testing this. I'm not that invested. This does not change. You cannot adjust this. This stays because this is, um, see, it's a soldered on or not soldered, whatever. It's through a loop. So this is the way you'd adjust it. But when I put it on, it's pretty much a choker to begin with. Um, I'm going to put it some longer so you can make it I go the longest. And then you can clip it wherever you want. Okay, it's going to sit like this. So on this Sarah Coventry for Avon, here's your little tag right there. On your Sarah Coventry for Avon, this is a nice piece. This looks killer on. You, you won't know that it's not silver. I didn't. I wore it. It's a... It's 16 inch, and you can make it shorter through any of these. But yeah, it's a six. And I'm coming from here. Let me show you. Below this, I'm not counting this. I'm going below that because that's realistically how it's going to sit. That's 16 inches. This is fabulous. Sarah Coventry for Avon. Oh, it's not too heavy. That's probably why I wore it. I like this piece. It feels good. Um, on this one. On the Sarah Coventry for Avon. Um, I'm going to do. I really like this a lot. I'm going to do 10 because this is a great faker. So I think we're at number six. I think I said 10, which sounds low, but okay. Number six for 10 for the Sarah Coventry for Avon. I'm going to say it's got to be plated. I actually wore this for years. I thought I, thought I was grabbing a sterling necklace on my, on my jewelry armor. You are lovely. But are you signed? We're only doing signed. It is. It's got a hang tag. So let me see who this is. I'll show it to you first. Look at the purple color and those stones. And let me see if these are glass. Most likely they look like it. I'm tapping them together. I don't hear anything. Yeah, they're glass. Wow, these are pretty. This is really pretty. Some of these, some of this glass, I don't know if you'd call that AB coating because it's only like on one side. See that one? Let me see what's going on with this. Oh, no, it's it's um gold color. But a like a gold color coating on one side so you're gonna get some cool 
I've got this at its longest. And let's see here. This is. We have no color loss on this chain. It's a lobster claw. Here's a hanger. These are all clasps. This is really dainty and beautiful. I love all the pinks and that deep, rich. Uh, I don't think it looks like garnet. It looks more like faux rubies to me than it does faux garnet. But that's just me. <laughs> Let's see what happens if they pretend to be rubies or what they do. Let me get away from this blue. No. They're not pretending to be anything. So let me look at the mark on this real quick. Again, I warned y'all, I wasn't prepped. This is another Avon. Semi Avon must be in the top of this one box. And who did it? Nina Ricci. So this is Nina Ricci for Avon. This is tiny. This is just a dainty romantic little, very feminine, pretty, 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 pretty necklace. Look at that. I like the style of that chain. It mimics like the draping of the case. Nice job. Nice job, Nina girl. Nice job. Okay. See why I liked it. I love everything, don't I? This says 14 inch. This says 7. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to have to, to be sure. Just to be sure. Because that's choker length, which this should be, actually, for this style. It's a revival piece, for sure. Let me go to the very last one. Yeah, see, I'm completely out of it this morning. Because this is coming in at, like... 16 inches. I'm glad I checked it again. From the Nina Ricci for Avon. Isn't that pretty? Okay, we're at number six, I do believe. Yes, we are. It's so a number six Nina Ricci for Avon. Beautiful little glass dangle. Some random here and there. Gold color AB. Wait a minute. Am I missing a dangle? No. Is there okay? So on this one, um, how about I just do three dollars on that? So number six is the Nina Ricci for Avon. Really sweet, dainty feminine necklace, glass. Number six is three dollars. <clears throat> Stace, I can see the number. Thank you. Let's go ahead and number this. I don't have a hiccup. I'm going to go ahead and number a couple ahead. Oh, just to keep me on track, dudes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm on your dime. Fast forward. Uh, we'll do up to ten. Let's see if you've lost your patience and left yet. I don't get many views on these recordings, so I prefer to do the live, especially on my vintage that I love. Okay. Let me get rid of this because that's obviously with Sterling. Okay. I should be... Uh, this is going to be number 10, right? Yes. Okay. That's good enough to get... To get to this, so let's do number seven. Make sure everything's signed. This is a signed Lisner. This is Thermoset. I'm going to go ahead and give you... It's a 70s Lisner, you'll see, because of the chain. How could you, Tangle? I just had you out last night. I dropped you in the bag. You're not the type of chain... There it comes. It's just a hook. So how in the world did it get tangled? Let me give you a measurement on this, but it's thermoset, it's laser, it's gonna be um, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three dollars on it. Okay, it's thermoset. It's really pretty. Is this the regular light? Yes, because it's dog on battery. Oh good, the battery came back. So it's an interesting See, that's not two-tone, or is it? No, it's just the shine. 
it looks like it's two-tone, but it's the way it's see now you can see it's not. But when the light hits it, they look each those um choked grounds, they look two-tone because the way this is um, done. So this is done with that. The way this is done, this like a crease here. So it gives you the impression that those are two-tone. And they're not. So this one it's a typical hook closure. It could be earlier than 70s. I based that 70s because of this because of this S sort of Greek key-ish looking chain that was very popular in the 70s. Let me show you the back. These, you know how they are. You got to get them to hang just right. They want to kink up a little bit. I mean, not horribly. It's, and again, condition is everything. This looks like I just bought it from the store. All this was in, you know, kept in a jewelry armoire. Um, the only time it wasn't was when Kelly bagged everything up. And um, even then, though, they were all in containers. And they weren't just loose, piled in a bag. No, no, this is as piled as they've been. It's me sticking them in these boxes for that picture. That is now was pointless because my internet took a crap. That or a stream yard, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is a total length of 17 inches. And you can hook it shorter. So $3 on the list. Now, this actually stores easy because it kind of folds. It doesn't hurt it this time. So it's easy to store. So the Liz and our thermoset, $3. And that's number seven. <laughs> this bag says 45 It was probably a time, right? Well, maybe not. Wasn't it for the, for the masses? So let's get rid of this 45 and just put our little $3 on there. That's a great price. We do room for resale. So the listeners, number seven is $3. Okay, the number eight. I'm trying to grab all signed stuff here. Am I, why is there an earring not in here? What the actual hell? Oh, let's just see. Set that aside. This is not signed, but it's extremely desirable. So we're going to go for it. This is true 1950s or earlier. It could be 40s. How did I get ink all over my thumb just that quick this morning? Good, good, Charlie Brown. This is true, true vintage. True vintage. Um, so... As you can see, this big, this has the hidden clasp. This comes with the screw back earrings. So these are probably really late 40s, early 50s. So it has the true hidden clasp here. This thing has been babied. So it's beautiful moon glow. Yes, they are hand knotted. Look at that color. It's like a soft, um, soft bubble. This is going to drive me crazy. Let me pause and go wash my hands. That's really bugging the crap out of me. That also had me rethink having this box as my, you know, what if I get ink on it? I checked it. I did it. These are so gorgeous. So anyway, these are true moon glow lucite. So, you're... They are graduated or educated. They have educated beads. <laughs> so this is not really showing the pearlescence. The color is really washing out on this light. And I think I need light. Uh, maybe not. I see the pink. It's such a soft, pretty pink. So these are true. Moon glow. These are early. Here's your screw back earrings. They're cute little posts. So the beautiful set, a beautiful set. These are probably going to be 15 inches because that's the deal with these kinds. This feels kind of gets bent. It's wanting to swoop down on me. So this should be 15 inches or maybe a tad bigger, but it should be. They're 16. I don't buy it. <laughs> I don't buy it. 
I mean, I guess 16. Let me get that completely straight. It's sliding. Okay. I guess I should measure from the middle of that bead. So I can measure there. Yeah, okay. 15 inches. I was right. And these are a little, yeah, like three quarter inch screw back. I don't think these are marked. Let me look at them. Yeah, these got to be really early 50s. Like when they first kind of went bada boom crazy. These are nicely set in here too, if you see. They did a great job. So on the moon glue. Uh, what kind of shine are we going to get on this moon glue? Where's my black light? Are you it? I'm on the wrong end. I have to get back a little bit. Yeah, and the nice. Those are nice. On the moon glow set. I don't know what these go for. I didn't do any comps on this. On the very vintage moon glow set. I don't know. I'm not, I didn't grab a numbered bag because I'm cycling. Okay, this is number seven on the Moon Glow set. Um, I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm going to say 20. If I find that they're going for less, fine. Let me know. I'm just basing it off. I know these are the real deal. These are extremely early. They got the true hidden cap uh, class. They have the matching earrings. A really nice true vintage and they're perfect I mean, the condition on these is outstanding so let me know if i ever price them i don't know i didn't pull comps on this stuff so number 720 i don't know i'm just guessing totally guessing and some of them i'm just doing really cheap at three four bucks whatever let's see what's in this box let's see what's in this box we'll pull out some pieces randomly that i know are probably signed I'd love to see the other earring to this, please. Can, can I please? Oh, come on, because you kind of match this brooch. You're not a set, but they really do kind of sort of match. So kind of sort of one together, but oops, that's not going to happen. Come here. Yay, there you go. Uh, are they a set? Oh, they actually they are. Okay. So this is set. I think these are Crown Trafari. There's some really desirable Crown Trafari. This stuff sells like crazy online. Oh, I'm lying. No, I'm not. There you go. It could just be Trafari. Let's see. Nope, it's Crown Trafari. It's marked on the back. It's like that satin. Get off light. It's that beautiful satin finish on these. And look at this beautiful this is a beautiful crown trafari you've got your textured and you're smooth this is a really nice set here's your earrings these of course are clip backs here's your matching earrings let me open these let me double check they are signed i mean it's a set nope they're not do you know when i hear something crazy these are listeners I thought they were a set. Oh, I see the difference. All right, not a set. Those are listeners. So the Crown, crown Trafari, I'm so sorry. That's so buttery looking. On this Crown Trafari brooch, it looks like it's a little over an inch because it's an inch and a half. Faux pearls. Mint, mint, mint condition. There's absolutely no color loss. Those pearls have no coating issues. This is just made wonderfully. So number eight is the Crown Trafari brooch. And um, I'm going to do six on that. That's low. These sell for 20 and up online. Actually, this should probably be listed for like 25 or up. Because it's Crown Trafari and it's just so perfect. So this is number eight. 
is six dollars on that crown safari it's a beautiful brooch let's do the listeners since they faked me out so well so these are listener very 50s again all this stuff is you know this has been jewelry box kept or wrapped up really carefully none of this stuff has been thrown around in a bag So let me open this. I can hold them in my hand so you can kind of see for size. You don't have to worry about sound, baby. You're fine. So these are the listeners. Again, they're in mint condition. Beautiful. They're not very long, but they're still going to have that ill climber look on your ear. Very pretty. And you could wear that with this brooch. You could wear this with a number of pieces. I mix makers when I wear a costume because if they go, they go. These are beautiful. They, of course, they are both the same. Ah, perfect condition. Condition, condition, condition. It's like real estate. Condition, condition, condition. These look like one inch earrings. Uh, and it's because they're a little over, uh, like an inch and a quarter. What's our width on these is three quarters of an inch. Okay, so this is number nine on the Lisner Gold Tone and Pearl Earrings. On those, I'll just do $4. Again, it's a good price on those, I think. I don't know. I didn't do comps. They're just great condition. And you can like image search and they'll probably have a name and a date and all. It'll tell you everything about it because, yeah, there's probably pieces to the set that a lot of times they mark the earrings and not other pieces. Even in, in uh, more contemporary jewelry, they do that. Even in brand new jewelry, they do that. So number four, no, number nine is four dollars. Oh, man, I feel this crap in my chest. I'm so aggravated that I feel like I might be Guinness. Okay, these are fabulous. These are fabulous. These are not the original backs. They could... No, they're not. Okay, let me make sure these are just straight KJL. Yeah, these are KJL, not for anybody. This is his line. Say your mark is here. These are not the original backs. Backs. Obviously, I like the flat things. It holds it still. This is the classic. You can call this a love knot. You can call this atomic. You can call it whatever you want. But these are beautiful KJL earrings. Nice weight. Yeah, you can you can tell the minute you pick up jewelry if it's quality or if it's not. Of course, they're quality. They're KJL. <laughs> so let me get you in the KJL earrings. On these, on the KJLs, mm, I love them. I do. I don't know what they go for. I don't remember what I paid for them. Okay, so on the KJL earrings, um, I could still wear these today, honestly. Again, already good grief. Um, I don't know, guys. I have no idea. These are perfect condition. Of course, they don't have the original backs. All right. I said I was going to be low, so I'll be low. I'll do five bucks on them. I think that's super fair. It's because I'm touching the bags after I wrote on them. Okay. So the KJL Faux Pearl Gold Tone. Where am I? I got some extra writing on here. It's number 10, and it's $5. Okay, number 10, $5. Okay, Gina and yell you, $10, which I appreciate because I'm deaf as hell. Okay, those are marked. I'm going to go back into this jewelry box because it says Jafari, but I think things got mixed up. Let me just, I keep the box won't stay open, so I'm just going to pull a few pieces. <laughs> the box wants to shut. Um, just patience and the virtue, guys. Just remember that. I'll bring these two together because you might be able to utilize them together. So let me see if that's a possibility. I'm thinking maybe not. Hang on. 
Uh, this is awful fat. Let's see if it'll go on here. No, I need a different chain. You'll see what I mean in a moment. These are fab. This is absolutely crazy. A fabulous piece. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I don't see any color loss on this. Let me double check. I'm not fibbing. I hate when this stuff gets that black stuff on it. Let me hit this with the light so I can see. No. There's no color loss on that chain. That's where you get it is on that chain. I'm not seeing it. It's the black background that was messing me up. Okay, no, they're great. They're great. I was like, man, be mad because they were perfect when I put it away. This is a pendant. And you can put it on whatever you want. Okay, so you just press this in and slip it onto your chain. And just give it a little... You don't have to push it back. I do because I'm anal. But, um, yeah. I guess it's what they call an enhancer. It's a hell of an enhancer. This is Crown Trafari. This is a fabulous... And yeah, this, this... You don't see these too often. So you can wear this. If you have a big enough space between your pearls, you can get this on there. Um, yeah, this chain is too fat. I grabbed it out of the box because... I thought, well, let me grab a chain, but this is too fat. This one's too fat. I'm sure I've got other chains. Let's grab something totally random. This is not going to do it justice because this looks like a Monet. It looks like more modern. Not modern, but yeah, probably 70s. Let me see if I have another gold chain in here. That might work. Uh, I bet I do behind me. Remember those gold chains I had hanging up here on? Uh, my neck. Oh, what did I do with them? Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. That's a good question. What did I do with them? Huh. Interesting. This is not costume, but it'll work. What have you done? Come here. This is actually gold plate, and it's not vintage, but it'll work, right? Sort of. I don't think we need it. This is a um, Crown Trafari enhancer pendant. Put it on your gold chains. Um, this is a Monet. Just that Crown Trafari is so rich. It's you got to be the right tone. But you could put it on that. I'm wondering about pearls. I know I'm taking a while. You guys will live. If you want vintage stuff, then you gotta live. You're gonna live. <laughs> uh, my pearls are put away in the box. The other ones are in that box that I haven't opened yet. Let me grab some crystals just to see. I do have a gold. I know you can't hear me, so hang on. These are gotten themselves tangled. Joni, baby, let go. What have you done? Thank you. Okay. I'm just curious. Uh -huh. Do you have a class? I don't know. Yeah, you're going to be able to get these on quite a bit of few things because that's, that's pretty open. Yeah, I don't think you're going to want to try it on um, anything above a three millimeter. I think the way to go with this piece is obviously going to be a uh, gold tone. I was going to try it with pearls, but unless you've got a gap between the pearls, it's not going to work. It needs to be a gold tone chain or something of proximity. So on this piece, uh -huh. man, I should have pulled cups. <laughs> All right. So... Let go of my ego. This is gorgeous. It's just too heavy for me. This is, oh God, this is seven inches. Fabulousness. And it's two and three quarters. Actually, it's probably wider here. And yeah, right at two and three quarters. Yeah, did I say seven? Really? Okay. 
So crown for Fari. Your signature is here. Again, this stuff is all perfect. You don't have any color loss. You don't have any blackening of your tassels. Nothing. Nothing missing. Absolutely perfect piece. Alright. I'm doing this piece at 50. If I'm over, let me know. I'm probably under. This is a fabulous crown safari. Absolutely to die for piece. Just too heavy. This says, Melly, old, fix it. <laughs> no. Oh, out of number bag. I hope I'm out of number bags because... Yeah, good. So this is number 11. And I think I said 60. I hope I said 60. If I'm over, let me know. I'll look. But these are rare. These are rare. Especially in this type of condition. Um, yeah, that's the one book I don't have. It's the Crown Trafari. I have the Napier. I have the Monet. I've got Juliana. Um, I don't have a Trafari book. So I wouldn't be surprised if this was a bookcase, honestly. Okay, so that was number 11 at 60. Again, come back at me if I'm over. It's fine. I won't be upset. I don't know if this is Crown Jafari or not. It's just one of those great staple pieces. Uh, this is a nice thick one. This color is kind of matte, kind of mute. Um, this is going to go well with your, like, 10 and 12 carat. It's so fat, I doubt you're going to put a pendant on it. You could. Let's see who made this. And we'll go from there, shall we? This one is Trafari Trademark. So it's Tr Trafari TM. Yeah, Scream 70s, doesn't it? Okay. This one has a nice big spring ring clasp. I'm waiting for it to focus. There we go. And it's like a multi. Nice fat. A uh, good five millimeters at least. I'm just going to do a drop on this piece. I don't like open it. And can you close it anywhere else? Let me see if I can get this jump ring through anywhere else on here. Let's just see if it closes properly. No. No. So it is what it is. It's going to be this is your length. I would not suggest forcing it. You want to maintain your originality of these pieces. Okay, so this is 24 inches. A 24 inch Trafari trademark necklace. <clears throat> Excuse me. And this is number 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm feeling kind of puny, guys. I'll give you a great deal on this one. Number 12, Safari Trademark. Was it 22, 24? Uh, necklace, I'm going to do it for five bucks. This is a great staple piece. It's like your LVD. Okay, you just your gold chains. Uh, your basic stuff. Okay, this is a huge bag. Let's see what I got over here for bags. I'm running out of bags. Isn't that crazy? Uh, hopefully Amazon is fast. I can always go to the head shop. Yeah, they sell little designs and shit, little bags. Not sure how big they go. I never bought big ones. No, I didn't buy it for that. I bought it literally for jewelry. I went there to buy them. But it was a bunch of earrings. I got more vintage earrings than you can shake a stick at. Some are signed, some are not. They're all fabulous. I didn't bring that box down. I was picking till last night for earrings to wear, so. <laughs> uh, didn't we do number 12? Yeah. Okay, so let me pre-order some bags here. So I don't script. You don't always repeat numbers. Wait a minute. Say I just did. 
Okay, so see, I'm already catching myself. Number 13. I just don't want to screw up the numbers because then it's very confusing. When someone orders it, I don't know which number, you know. Of course, I doubled them like a psycho. Hope you guys are all well today. I'm well. I'm not catching a cold. I'm not catching a flu. I'm just tired. That's all. I've been very busy. I got that giant sterling lot. It's got some crazy pieces that, you know, you can't find comps to because they're just that good. I mean, they're just that rare and that freaking expensive. I'm like, that's what's a struggle whenever you have, well, this sale I sold, whatever it was, the bag is empty. Um, is you, It's hard to sell the really higher end stuff. I end up putting them online because I just don't have the audience. Um, to do it. I mean, I'm selling $2,000 pieces for, you know, three, 400 bucks, but I need to learn patience, stick them online, just leave them there. But listing is not easy for me. It hurts my neck. It's the typing. Ooh, look, we made it to number 20. I think as far as we're going to get, I didn't watch the time. I'm going to peek at it now. So it's 9.30. We're closing in on an hour, so let me not go too much longer. I can do subsequent videos. I really want to do this live, so I have the hope of maybe bids. Because the stuff is nice. I'm going to wait on you, because I know you have earrings that sort of match. No, that's the wrong one. Never mind. So let's start. I'm going to base what I grab off the size of the baggies at number 13. I think this is Monet. It's laying here, so let's just do it. I don't know. The name looks awful long. The name looks long, dude. Find my eyepiece. Aha! Uh -huh. It's Napier's all capital, large letter print. So, yeah, I'm going to say probably 70s, maybe 80s. It's the bead ball. It's got a little interest with the twist. Again, you've got no color loss. You've got nothing wrong with these pieces. They look like they were just purchased. This has got a lobster claw, so definitely 70s or 80s with that particular. I'm waiting to focus. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Let's kill the light. Hopefully that might. I've got that morning light going on. I'm waiting for it to focus, guys. Anyway, it's, not, it's big block letters. There you go. So that's the mark. So this one, again, it is the length it is. There's no way to adjust the length on this. Short of using, you know, an adapter gadget. Which, do you have room? Mm, nope, you choked yourself out. <laughs> well, you can always... Get another chain and, you know, hook it onto the other side. Yeah, I do that quite a bit with my stuff. Not as much as I used to. I'm just doing a drop because that's how it's going to hang. So, would you be still and quit moving? Okay, so it's 24 inches. So, this is an Air 24-inch bead ball with a twist bar link. Necklace, and I'll do this one at three dollars. How's that? I think that's really super low. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. So, number I can't read that. Is that number what number is that? <laughs> I can't. Well, look at the next one. That'll give me a clue. This is number 13. I can't even read that. I'm sure you can't either. I'm just, just, okay. Number 13, and it's $3. Sorry, guys. So, number 13 is $3. <laughs> and the 14. I feel like I have no light, then I've got too much light. This, to, this looks like a Liz Claymore or something, which I do have the rare one out. No, this reminds me of the pie pieces, which is, um, who does those? Oh, this is Trafari. Are you crowned or not, my dear? Let me see. 
Yes, this is a crown trafari. She needs a bath. I thought she was one that I just gave a bath. She needs a bath. You do have a little bit of, say, I'm not sure if I would call that color loss or if that's just needs a bath. I can't tell. All right, let me go bathe her and see if that comes off because if it doesn't, it affects value. So just a moment. Okay, so let's see how that turned out. Let me see. I need more light. More cowbell. If I mess up my light. Yeah. I wouldn't call it color wear, color loss as much as it's just like surface um, mild scratching maybe. It's got a little like dots, you know, I guess those little black dots. It's not everywhere, just here and there. You know, good soaking and some uh, automatic dishwashing solution might take care of that. But I do have to take that into consideration that I'm not sure that's going to come off. Um, be careful when cleaning your pearls. I typically am just going to use a very mild, just barely damp. I mean, extremely just barely. And carefully, with a Q-tip, just go over these. Because these, these coating on these, they will peel on you. They, they will. You have to kind of be really careful. Don't be throwing this in water. I know I said, yeah, hey, good soak could do it. That's probably why it's there, because I refuse to dunk this into water. I'm not going to do it. It could damage the um, faux pearls. I mean, I'm looking for that big um, magnifying glass thing. I thought I left it where I could grab it. I did. I just laid my own black ah, beads over it. I want to see if you can see what I'm talking about with the... Oh, come on, dude. All right, where am I? Yeah, I know. You can be like, there's nothing there. There is. It's just... All right, see it to the my right over here where I'm wiggling my pinky over here on that side. See how there's just a tiny bit of that, like, surface? See it? Okay, so that's it. That's the only thing I see that's even remotely has any um, what I would call issues on this piece <laughs> but I like to disclose everything so on the crown Jafar you know is it crown yes it is crown Jafar it's a big boy this one is two inches round on the crown Jafar and you do have a little bit of aging uh, on the back I don't think it's anything that's I mean, it's gonna affect the value a little bit a little bit on a true collector yeah, a, a little bit. So on the Crown Trafari, um, I'm just going to do $4. That's a stupid little price, but I mean, a collector probably still would buy that. I did. Granted, I thought that that um, color loss would come off. Not lost. The, um, I thought it was just funk. So number 14 is $4. This is Crown Trafari. Go Tone Faux Pearl. It's substantial all you know, this stuff just feels good. Let's see what else is in this jewelry box. Oops, get back in my numbers. I get a drink. And yes, I'm washing my hands and yes, I cover my mouth if I cough. I'm not gonna send you a cold. This thing is just stiff and getting tangled with my regular type chain that's in here so let's just get these out before they're a problem child are you the cream one that i was looking for yes you are thank you not this one ah we still have a tango how oh there you go uh, i think we're out of crown safari territory it looks like we're back into lisner or something now where is the clasp bear with me i'm getting there it's a fold over clasp open baby Thank you. So I can see what you are. I'm just getting it 
Okay, this is a gold tone, so it's a matte gold with your shiny gold. That's very 70s when they were doing that, when they were doing the, actually they say it can be 50s too. So the 50s has like this um, textured and then with the shiny high points, this could be anybody, could be anybody. I'm leaning towards loser on this one. We'll see. It could be Kramer. Where's my eyeball? I just had it. Let's see. Oh, come on. Tell me who you are. It's Crown Trafari. With a trade mark above it. Say yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's your back. Yeah, it's perfect. There's nothing wrong with this one at all. There's no color loss. The light really sucks, doesn't it? This black background was not a great idea because it's throwing, kind of reflecting that black, so not helpful. It's making everything look dull. I don't like it. I don't like it. Very well put together. Yeah. So, very well made. So, country flurry. Obviously, this is a choker necklace. You've got no adjustability with this because it is a fold over clasp. Uh, fingers work. Here's a click. It's uh, there. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Oh, okay. I'm going to do a drop on this one. A seven is drop. It's a color. Yes, it's like Crowntrafari. Very nice. It's on the Crowntrafari collar necklace. This is number 15. I wish my regular pen would write on this because I'm really fed up with the um, getting ink on my hands. <laughs> I'm really, really over it. So, number 15 on this Crown Trafari. Um, how about we just do $4? It's a good price because this has got some good age on it. This one is in collector condition. Most of the stuff is. As you can see, I will point out any tiny little thing about these pieces because... I don't know that a collector is going to see this, but if I were putting this online, yeah, I disclose everything. Oh, this is so pretty. Who are you? I recognize this swirl. Do you? Do you recognize this swirl? It's a good one to learn. <laughs> Where did you hide your marking, Boogerhead? On the hook. Let me make sure my instinct is right. I'm going to say it and then be embarrassed that I'm wrong. <laughs> it's a listener. But yeah, the listener. Yeah, that's their little hang tag. That's their hang tag. I've got this hooked one before the last. So we're going to do it the shortest possible. And give you a drop from there. Again, it's got your your typical hook enclosure. I think I showed you. Let me unhook it and see so you can see it. It's marked on the hook. It's your typical hook closure. We're gonna put it on the first possible place not you on a ring thank you on the first actual jump ring not this far but a true jump ring. you don't want to be hooking it onto here because that's not built for that okay <clears throat> isn't that pretty i like the way they did the edges kind of like this really nice raised look again you've got your texture which is showing you the uh, veining of the leaf Wait for it to focus. 
This is that silver tone that starts looking gold on you on camera. It is silver tone though. Does it look gold? It's not. It's totally silver tone. Totally silver tone. Isn't that pretty? I love this edging. I love the detail here. And yes, yeah, I mean, it's very well done. What a gorgeous piece. Push it back. Again. These are quality pieces. You want to take care of these when you get them. If you do, I mean, this thing's got to be at least 50 years old. Could be 70 years old. It'll look like you just bought it yesterday if you just take care of it. It's too long to go on here. All right, we'll get a general idea. It's going to be your typical, let's so say... Uh, yeah, 14 inch, and then from there, oh, come on, wrong end, wrong end, wrong end, alright, so, so 14 inch, and I'm only going to use the jump ring parts to measure this, not the flat bars, you don't want to be putting it in those flat bars, you're going to screw it up, <laughs> I know, <laughs> baby, and it's three inch from there, so it's 14 to 17. This is a beautiful Lisna. Truly, just screams, screams, screams 1960s, doesn't it? I think it does. And I should know. I was alive. So, um, <laughs> on this Lisna, I just said I was doing deals. I'm doing crazy deals. $4. $4. I don't want to be careful. This goes in a bag. One thing neat about these old ones, if the link, if the, like I was talking about how the links were really well made, how the attachments, if it's well done, you should be able to fold it seamlessly. Because you got to have those hinges well made. If it's not, uh, it's not going to mean it's junk. It's just yeah. Not perfect. They make it fit in that little bag. Number 17, four dollars. Isn't that gorgeous? Even through the bag. I know. I told you last night I was in um was it Kirsten or Tanya's? I was in both their chats. Tanya did a really late night um pop up raising money for a neighbor whose daughter, um, she had co-signed on her lease, and the daughter passed away, and mom finds out the bill is something stupid, I think like 2000 or 2500 but when I finally had to get off of there, and it was like 2 something in the morning, I mean, I needed to try to get some sleep, I had been asleep and I woke up, I'm like, universe must have woke me up to help this woman, so I bought <laughs> a lot, I'll just say that, um, so when I went to bed, Tanya was only like $400 away from meeting the goal of paying the woman's um, electric bill. So yay for Tanya and yay for us. For, this is a Kramer for participating. This is a Kramer, just Kramer, no no New York, just Kramer in the um, copyright symbol. This is beautiful. This is very dimensional. And again, you've got your mixing of textures, you've got your smooth, and then you've got all this brush. This is silver tone. The texturing on that silver brush is really nice. The curving, and this is just extremely well done piece. And look at the dimension on that. And look, I was good. I didn't bend the pin. A lot of these, I'll bend the pins from putting them on pearls or beads. This is beautiful condition. This is Kramer. That's a long one. It's got to be four inches if it's an inch. Let me confirm that, please. It is four inches. And its widest point, uh, don't give me grief, about an inch. And if I counted way out here, sure, I could hit two inches. But realistically, eh, like one and three quarters. It's got nice height on this piece. Um, yeah, that's going to look lovely on its own. As a boutonnet, you could wear this as a boutonniere. Put it where a boutonniere would go. It kind of 
mimics that. This goes good on beads because of this shape and because you've got these, when you've got these open curls, you can actually set it on your multi strands and kind of hook this around it and just integrate it into the piece. It's very pretty when you do it like that. Let me grab these. These are dull. I'm not quite sure. I'll just give you an idea of what I'm talking about. When you've got these, these are too big. Let's see if I can get them in there. Oh, uh, yeah. These are a bit too big. You'd have to string it through. But this looks really good on your blues and blacks, on your beads. It looks really nice on your multi strands. Even if I use some pearls, it'd be washed out. But it looks really nice on your multi strands. Alright, so I'm done talking about the Cramo forever. And this is number 18. Let me make sure I'm not out of order. No, I'm not. This is number 18 on the Kramer 4-inch. Beautiful. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. So on the Kramer, I said I was going to be low. I'm going to be low. I'm going to say $4. This is great for vintage resellers. Fantastic for collectors. So it's not Kramer, it's Kramer with a trademark. Okay, there's a difference. You can go look on your own. I don't want to misquote the ages, but you can age these by mark. Like most of all of them. This isn't marked, so that's why I'm not bringing it. I'm not going to bring the unsigned pieces on the recording. This I thought I had the earrings too, but turned out they're more of a cream color. And this is way more. Look at the, the gold on this. And you know how old this is? And this still, the gold plating is still as good as it was the day it was made. This is a very pretty, I love gold and pink together. And this is the prettiest dusty rose, like just sweet pink color. And it does have, this is beautiful enamel. It does have your, you know, your gold highlighting. I mean, it's just shy of being goosh enamel. Look at that. It's Fantastic enameling work. Who did this fantastic enameling work? Looks like Trafari would make sense to me. And this box is largely Trafari so far. It is. It's Trafari with the TM under it. So it's literally the letter T, the letter M. So the Trafari trademark. These are a little bit older. Um, this is beautiful. Of course, it's got the spring ring closure. Look at that gold on this thing. It looks like it was made yesterday. That's beautiful. This has got to be a 15 incher because it's a chopper. It's got to be, got to be, got to be. Flip, would you please? So, yep, 14 inch. True choker. Trafari trademark. Collector condition. It's also signed down here again. It's on the jump ring little closure tag and also down here. So one thing, Trafari didn't mark most of their pieces. There are some sets that you will find that uh, one of the pieces won't be marked in the set, but you can find it with Google image search. Can you believe this thing is 50 plus years old? <laughs> is that crazy? They don't make jewelry like this anymore. They just, I mean, that's fantastic. Fantastic. My bag's going to be too small for number 19. I may have to unclasp it. If it I'm not forcing it. I'm not messing it up, so be patient. I'm just going to see if I can get this in the bag. I'm not going to bend or kink this chain. So let's make sure it's comfortable. It is. Okay, good. Okay, all right. So on this Trafari trademark, it's like a blush pink and gold, which I love together. On this one, again, uh, I said I'd be low. So I'll do $4, which is stupid price. But it's okay. I'm cleaning house for number 19, and it's $4. I need to wrap this up once I get done with this number 20 because I think I'm coming up on over an hour. We don't really want to do that. 
I like these. Do I have a matching piece to this? Let me make sure. I do. Oh, do I? No. Okay. These are gorgeous air climbers. Milk glass. Let me make sure that it's milk glass. No, I'm not sure. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, you know, I did try my gym test run, but where the heck is the end of it? Okay, the best way to tell is take something metallic and give it a tap. If I don't have my hearing aids on. Yeah, that's glass. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I won't say and be embarrassed that I was wrong. These are Kramer, yeah. Okay, these are Kramer, trademark. Not Kramer, New York. Kramer, trademark. Again. These are pristine. I mean, pristine. You just don't. Well, you do see custom jewelry like this, but it, not truly in this literal pristine condition. Beautiful white milk glass. Sweet little climber earrings. These come on trying to be still, so it'll focus. If I lie them down, but then you're upside down, so okay, you get the idea. I'll show you the condition of the other one, so you know they're both equally perfect. I don't like having them in these bags or in that jewelry box, honestly. They need to go back in their little independent little fuzzy holders. <laughs> ah, so they will. I'm not going to leave this up for too long because these need to be properly put away. All right, so on the Kramer white milk glass earrings is number 20. Those are nice. They're so nice, right? I'll do $3. I will do $3. Blowing these things dry because I'm so scared. If it gets on my fingers, it'll get on my jewelry, and I'll have a shit fit. I'll call it take it off, but I wouldn't be happy about that, okay? So number 20 is the Kramer New York White Mill Glass um, Air Climbers. It's $3. I'm going to stop it there and uh, drink some tea, probably. And then I'll come back with some other pieces. Try to find the matches to everything. Make sure I get everything in order. Maybe I'll pre-investigate some of this stuff to see, you know, what I got. This looks like a Chico's. It is. Oh, this is a nice Kramer. Okay, so I will go ahead and pre-look at this stuff and get the bags sort of kind of ready. Why did I bag you though? Because you're tiny. It's a big leaf. What else is it? This way I can move this box out of the way. Ooh, I see the Trafari hang hanger. What is this? Are you crown? This would be handy. It's just a gold tone chain. It's too far. I know. I shouldn't be keeping you on here, but I'm curious about these pieces now. Like, what do I got here? I think this is a real mix. Yeah. Yes, yeah, this is a little Avon. That should be like in a jewelry lot. I should, I'm gonna put together some lots too, guys. So I'm putting this, and this is looking for a mate. I don't know, I would do these as not sign. Okay, so I'm gonna research these. I don't know how many bags I got. This is not costume, this is gold plate. It's not even sterling gold plate. I just like it because it's a butterfly. All right, I'm going to stop. You know the deal. Um, email me at Melly's Jewelry Box. This should be down here. Where's my finger? Should be down actually over here. Um, email me that you want the piece. Give me the item number, please, and the price. I will confirm back to you yours at whatever amount and then or sorry it's sold. I will maintain the sold list and um so you can check that. I need to update one of my ring videos. I'll do that when I go back upstairs. Here's a crown safari. 
Contrafari, the enamel and two tone years. <laughs> All right, I'll be back. I'll do another video because I got a ton of signed stuff. And then on the unsigned stuff, I'll probably do like a live auction and do like the rapid fire buy it nows because they should go fast. So keep that in mind if you're vintage lovers and you haven't never been to my channel before. I started my channel on vintage. My true love has been vintage. But I started doing sterling and it, it caught hold. And I do get some really unique sterling pieces. I get some run of the mill sterling pieces. I've got some like knock your sock off socks off sterling pieces right now. Um, I may do a short on that piece because I need someone's eyes that's going to help me um, identify it. I mean, I know what it is. It's just the maker's mark. Can't find the quality of this thing is just like it's it's insane i may keep it just because i don't see it getting the value on my channel i just don't have the audience guys all right i've rambled enough thanks for watching and, and uh yeah email me i answer it you know first come first answered so look for another recording in a little bit and then as long as i don't start feeling worse which i'm not going to yes yeah, it's a bro good old 1950s bro hill table that's a good wood to knock on as long as i don't feel worse i will be here tomorrow night at uh, 9 p.m um i may push it a little bit later at 9 30 just to give leslie some more time over at black dog vintage um She's got fabulous. I know I'm telling you about another vintage channel, but you know what? We all support each other. I buy from her. Um, I buy a little bit from everybody. So, yeah, she's on at 7. So, she's, we kind of cross over. So, 9.30, she wasn't on too long after me. But we do have kind of different audiences, I think. Because you guys, when you come Saturday night, you know it's going to be Sterling. You, you know what it is. It's Sterling and Stone. And gemstones, whatever. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks for being here. Don't forget to be kind to yourself. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make some tea and maybe a little toast and just, you know, rest for a little bit. I'll upload this. And uh, I'm going to just relax for a while. Then I'll come back and work a little bit more. Oh, it's time to make my hubby some brunch. He's still homesick. And then, um, so take care of yourself. And then do an act of kindness for others. Like, I'm making him brunch. Maybe you think, oh, that doesn't count because he's your husband. Of course it counts. I don't have to do anything. I do it because I love him. I want to take care of him. I do it all the time. <laughs> I spoiled him. Um, but, yeah, little things can make a big difference in someone's life. A smile takes 11 more muscles to frown than it does to smile. Plus, it makes you face ugly when you get old. You get that frown permanently creased in your face. <laughs> That's a warning. I. Talk to you later. Bye, guys. Yes, in recording. Bye.